Hello, this is Zedes. Welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Clearing more uncleared 2019 levels. I have six for you this time. Uh, a couple of them are pretty short. Uh, a couple of them are really long. Most of them are very bad. Uh, to note, start out with this first one. Some ass dark level. <laughs> it's just... Uh, you know, I'm early on in the game, July, one month and less than a month into the game. I guess it's time to experiment a little. Um, yeah, this is uh, basically the worst kind of crap you can get. Um, a dark, uh, lots of lots of blind spots, uh, skewers that you can't see until they're right up your butt. Uh, yeah, this is this is a 2 out of 10 at best, uh, maybe even a 1. At least it was easy, I guess. And it gets worse after this. Uh, the skewer part is the worst part, but th there are some real blind, unnecessary pick-a-path type things coming up here. Look at that. Just... Random jump, hope, hope, hope you live, uh, but you don't. There's, there's my boo. Uh, is easily earned. This one I actually considered, this level I considered, uh, cutting because it's, it's just lame. Um, but it's only a couple minutes long, so. It took me about seven minutes, uh, total. And obviously a lot can be edited out. Look at this. Now, where do I go from here? Well, I guess I'm just gonna fall against this wall and see what I can see. Luckily it didn't kill me. Yeah, here it becomes a pick-a-path maze type thing, and it's just, come on, man. Why? Why would you do this? Why would you design this? Why do you think people want to play this? I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get people who make levels intentionally terrible. Uh, you know, is it that funny? Um, you know, maybe, maybe watching me play three years later, this is really funny to you, but it's, is it even funny? I mean, it's not. It's just boring. Luckily, I saw the pipe when I randomly jumped uh, that time, so I could uh, get it the second time. <clears throat> yeah, this this week, uh, as as usual, is filled with some pretty awful levels. I I got one halfway decent one and one that was super easy. Uh, the, I think it's the first time I've ever one shot at a level uh, in this series. <laughs> think. Yeah, here, look. The end is a pick a path. Thankfully, I picked right the first time. Yep, that's all it is. Uh, very terrible level. On to the course two. A troll level. Uh, a dark level followed by a troll level. At least it's not a dark troll level. You might remember the time I got one of those. Uh, <laughs> this one um, is awful. Uh, again, I would probably go 2 out of 10. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward troll level. There, it's, it's trolls are mostly hidden blocks. Um, there's a couple of real trolls, but not really. Right here, I guess. I should have predicted that. If you see, there's a door up to the left. Uh, if you get to the end and, and you haven't hit an on-off block, there's a door that you can enter and it leads back there. Yeah, this, this one is just, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking or, you know why they bothered making this. It's not fun, it's not entertaining. The worst thing about this level isn't that it's a troll level. You know, here's a, something I could have easily seen coming. Um, the worst thing about it is there's a jump coming up here that you'll see in a minute that I don't even understand how to do it. I just got lucky sometimes. Um, the will see me. I notice, just looking at, I go up for it first, but I'm looking at these saws, it has that kind of are they note blocks or are they cloud blocks? But looking at them carefully, they're all note blocks. So I don't quite get it. And I try 
I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? I, I hit the note block and I die. How am I supposed to survive this? And I try out four of them, and I just happen to do this on accident. <laughs> look, at, look at me pause. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I bounced off the third one and didn't die. I don't know how, and, and I never figured out how. I just basically had to jump for that third one. I don't know if it would work on the other ones. And randomly, the note block would send me the right way. Yeah, this is all blocked off. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I probably 90% of my lives I probably died trying to get past this saw section. It's just, it's janky, it's stupid, I don't know. And thankfully now I'm done, done with it. The rest of the levels is much more straightforward. Mostly Kaizo blocks and uh, the occasional sniper thwomp. Let's see what's up here. I did go up on the thwomp. There's nothing up there. There's a bar barely a troll here. I don't think I ever died to that spike. And yep, there's a Kaizo block. You need to build a bridge to Kaizo blocks here. And then the, the fifth spot is open, so... Might have figured this out, out in a different life. I think I did look at the program on this one just to see if there was another way to do that saw thing. Yeah, build, build, uh, build it up. Take a blind jump. And it's not far enough. What it turns out to be, and we'll get it here in a second, is there's actually three uh, hidden blocks here, so that's what you have to do. Very boring. <laughs> I accidentally drew out that sniper as well. But I wasn't lucky enough to draw out the second one. Up and then there's an on-off switch that you might have missed, and you have to hit it. And that's all it is. Very boring. Yeah, this this week was so poor that I barely I barely even looked at anyone to see if they had other uncleared 2019 levels. Hopefully, you enjoy watching me deal with them, though. I'm. Mean, Taking out, taking out the trash. That one took me a lot of lives, probably like a hundred lives. I, I that that saw part. I just, oh, well, I don't know what the heck he was thinking. So this third level is the best level I got this round. I, I probably still wouldn't give it over a six out of ten. It's a kind of a puzzle level. It was kind of fun to figure out, also kind of hard to figure out. Um. I think I actually did open the program on this one too, but I don't think it even helped me. Uh, <laughs> I, I really had to think about it. Here's this uh, giant Goomba bouncing onto a P-Switch. Um, I'm not sure if that helps me right, right away. I'm too slow to, to get to this P-Door right away. Let's like, explore a little bit of this level. There's nothing I can much do in this first area. So I'm, I'm basically done. Go in the P-Box in the, in the right away. I, I, it took me a long time to figure out if that if anything here really had anything to do with anything else. I'm not wasn't sure. I had to basically see the whole level before I was like, oh, I kind of get that there was something going on at the beginning. 
first trip to the subworld while we're in the lava. I don't really want to ride this swamp. I don't know. I didn't trust it. At this point, I still didn't know if it was a, a fair level or not. Um, the, this swamp riding part is actually quite tough because he's going fast and the momentum really screws with you. As you'll see, like right here, I jump and. Well, actually, I didn't. I, get I got thrown a lot. I think I must have cut a lot of those out. Um, so here, I think I successfully ride this swamp all the way to the end. You have to be really careful with your momentum anyway. Yeah, and I'm not a thousand percent sure that I did this the way he wanted to do it anyway, but it just took me a while to figure out what was going on. It's a fair puzzle though, it's not it's not cheap. There are some hidden blocks, but they're like purposeful, they're not like just to annoy you, kill you. See up above there's coin blocks. I didn't check it right here, but to the right, those aren't coin blocks. They're they're regular blocks. So the P switch will turn them into coins. I forgot this guy had a parachute right here. Here I, I do realize that there's other routes that I could take in this room, so let's go up right here. See what's up here. I had seen seen that there was a path up here since the beginning. I just hadn't taken it yet. There are pipes up here. Let's see what's in this one. This is a section I'm not sure. There's some Kaizo blocks that prevent me from going up. And I'm not sure if that has anything to do with there's just or if it's just blocking me. There's a coin trail down here. It seems like it's to death. Um yeah, there's the another pipe down here that leads to this swamp, and that's that's the end of the subworld area that I've been to before down here. Here's the parachute swamp. I'll ride him. Yeah, I'm really at this point. I'm still like very confused as to what's going on. A lot of coin trails mostly unnecessary coin trails in this uh, in this part. Uh, some of them, if the piece which is activated, will be other paths, but um, at least if you're playing an endless, you would get a lot of lives. Now that I've beaten it, it can be played an endless. I think, I don't think it will like. It either has to have a like or a clear to appear in endless. So I kind of think at this point I, I knew what was going on. I, I feel like, okay, and, and I didn't realize this at first. This actually, the program helped. Right below me in that section is where that Goomba is. That starting section. And I'm thinking he needs to hit the P-switch. Uh, and I, I wasn't sure why he wasn't hitting the P-switch. Yeah, I go back in this pipe for a second, um, see what's up. There was a section to the left that I hadn't really gone yet. I, d I don't see it right here, but it's actually a 50 coin. There's a reason that it's gone, and, and we'll kind of see this here. I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last, uh life. What you're supposed to do is activate the snake block so the bullet cannot hit the POWs because the POWs drop all the coins and then when they turn back to bricks they don't reappear. The coins are gone. They don't respawn. That's the problem. Is that when I would go back to the original the, the overworld the Goomba would just probably fall out and die. Uh, fall out into the pit. Because those coins, those bricks are gone. Very, very, actually kind of clever setup. Uh, the real problem is that you can't see, if you could see, see that section, you could see where this Goomba was, this wouldn't be a problem, but you can't see it. Uh, so it's really confusing as to what you're supposed to do here. 
I think I think maybe looking at the program helped with that. That I kind of figured out. Oh, that's what's happening. Is those coins are disappearing, and, and I never like I never thought about activating that snake block early. I always did it later. There, there's actually no reason for that snake block to be there except for and and this this coin these invisible coins are there for a reason too because you can't get up there. It's like a staircase, and uh, you can't really get up there without. Uh, Creating that staircase. So here, this this final pipe to the right in the subworld leads me back up here, and now I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for this boom. But it only takes you know 20 seconds, or maybe less than that. Oh no, he already did that. But he's gonna do it again. I gotta get out of here before the goombas fall on me. Almost die there. And there you go. And then there's a boom boom play. At least he gives me a power up. If he didn't give me a power up, I would have died here for sure. <laughs> even though I don't even lose the power up. I guess it lets me climb up the wall to avoid uh, boom boom. I hate 3D world boom boom. He is the worst. Probably my least favorite boss. He kills me so constantly with that spinning move. Especially if he's big. Make him big, give him wings, I'll never beat him. Ah, uh, okay, well that's that level, like a six of ten. It's it's not a great level, but it's okay. It was okay. I didn't give it a heart, I didn't give it a boo. Kind of right on the edge of being a heart. Okay, the fourth level is a Japanese speedrun. It has 40 tries. Let's see how long it takes me to beat this one. 74 spinies at least, so there's more than 74. <clears throat> this is a this is a very poorly made speed run. Uh, there's just a ton of coins. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be a trail. It doesn't seem like it. The timer's pretty lenient, at least from what it looks like. I, I'm hoping it's not a, a what 150. I think is what it started at 160, something like that. Yeah, <clears throat> a lot of lot of errant sound effects that don't really add anything. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this maker's mind. It's just, um, just a mess. Uh, I'd probably give it like a four out of ten. It's, it's pretty lame. Um, not very interesting looking. Not very. Like, there's just coins everywhere. It would definitely help you out in endless. Here's here's some spinies that I want to kill, but I don't have any way, way to kill them right here. So I'm like, okay, I guess I hope there's more later on. I hope there's. Enough. There's more coins, a Bowser, and a, and a couple of Bowsers, and the Bowser Jr. stuck. Oh, here we got some more spinies. Oh, and a star. Is there gonna be enough spinies here? There are. Like I said, there's this is the first time I've ever one shot a level in in this uh, series. I, I'm pretty sure I, 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 there there was like at least one that took me like three lives. <clears throat> I'm a very uncareful player, so I do die a lot no matter what. So yeah, uh, that was not a hard level at all, but it was bad. It was bad. It wasn't bad enough. I didn't boo it, but it was pretty bad. So four out of ten. Uh, here is a level that. Probably caused me the most problems this time. Uh, that, that that troll level earlier killed me a lot with the grinder. I don't know if this probably took me fewer lives, but it's much more painful. <laughs> and you'll see why, because that's a don't leave the ground level. Uh, and it's upside down. I don't totally mind the upside down. Actually, it doesn't. That's not what bothers me. But <clears throat> this pretty much has every horrible setup you can do for a don't leave the ground level. In fact, the worst possible setup, one that you've seen me uh, fail on many times before, actually one, at least one level. Remember, if you remember a long time ago, there was a link level that was don't leave the ground. And it wasn't even that bad. Uh, but it was bad and it was annoying. It's just, this clear condition is painful. I did go in that door one time and it just leads you back to the beginning. It's just a troll door. I assume those are troll pipes too, but I didn't ever test those. 
Here I'm, I'm, cow I'm cowering for my life. <laughs> Later lives I would actually slide up the hill to kill that uh, bullet. The bonsai bill. Uh, that the seesaw is is the problem. That if you remember that link level, that that was what was kicking my butt. This part sucks. You often uh, you either bounce off the uh, no block or land right on the corner of that semi-solid. Here's a <clears throat> a lame snake block section. Uh, at least that's a slow one. Uh, I don't think I ever failed at the snake block section, but it's annoying. And here you have to run, but you don't know when to stop, so you get killed right here. We'll cut back to there, because the, there's a whole sub-world. <clears throat> the sub-world is actually easier, but possibly even more annoying, because there's a lot of, like, pick-a-path stuff. Thankfully, <clears throat> when you leave the ground, you can still continue looking at the level. And I kind of skipped ahead a lot. Uh, here's the second one of these seesaw setups. The, these are just the worst. I failed so many times with two of them almost right in a row. I lost most of my lives messing these up. There, I get, I get it. This part, like, kind of like a Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, type thing. Not too bad. You just have to avoid these balloons. I don't think I ever hit one. I'm pretty pretty stupid up in this area. There's there's a bunch of paths, bunch of ways to go. I never actually tested the ones on the on the right. I, I don't think it would work because there's a uh, a twister there. I don't know why I assume I needed this extra key, but I, I didn't really see that I couldn't get back, or maybe the one way confused me because of the upside down. At this point, I did go look to see what was left. I, this is not the next life for, for sure. It took me another 20 minutes to actually beat it, but I knew it was coming up, so at least I was prepared. But we'll skip that so you can just see it. This is the final run right here. Yeah, this level, I, you'll have to look. I, I keep forgetting to look, but I'm sure it took me 30 lives or pretty close to it. It was, it was pretty bad. It, I can't remember how long the rough video was, but I would bet it was nearly an hour. But yeah, this one, this one was torture. Yeah, what's something like a two-minute uh, upload time? Uh, don't leave the ground. All these terrible setups. It's it's just really bad level. I'll, I'll give it like a a three out of ten because it's not poorly designed. It's just these are the. These levels are just, why would you ever want to play one? <clears throat> one that's so long, anyway. They have to be, like, short. I think if they're short, they're not too bad, but... Staying in the air levels are much better, obviously. This, these dang seesaws. I swear to God, they took me forever. This one didn't, but I I, I would hem and haw on them, and then... And then I kind of almost screwed this part up on this life, but it's actually very easy. You just have to not let the donuts drop until those guys are away and it's fine. But yeah, all you have to do is get this key and go in the in the door. Yeah, it's kind of a pick a path, but it's like the path is like there's only really one way that works, I think. Uh, and it, it basically makes you lose your clear condition. It was really hard to stop on that donut block because the ice would slide you off. This section, if you just take it slow, it's not too bad. <clears throat> and then I thought he actually wanted me to fight these guys, but you don't want to do that at all. I, and I really wanted to jump here because I wanted to keep going, but that would be really stupid. Yeah, if you fight those guys, you're flying, you lose the clear condition, so you have to land back on the ground. And then if you just run to the goal, yeah, really, really bad level. Um, not f not fun to play in the least. And I leave this guy a, an actual comment instead of a just a seriously. I doubt he'll ever see it, and I hope he doesn't, because <laughs> I really don't want to get banned from playing. I don't want my account to get shut down, because I, lo I love the levels that I make. 
<clears throat> okay, I decided to do a sixth one just because a couple of them were really short. That one shot in that that first level, and it turned out to equal just about 30 minutes, so it turned out okay. Uh, this one, some French level. It's this is a pretty bad level too. Uh, probably give this one a two out of ten, maybe three. It's it's annoying. There's a lot of trolls. I just I don't know why people think that that's fun or funny. I, it's it's not. I want I want the level the levels that I like are good levels. I mean, you you want platforming, uh, straight platforming, difficult platforming. Yeah, that's oh, been a, it's been a, a while since I've gotten a good level on one of these, right? <laughs> Yeah, a lot of a lot of sound effects spam in this one too. I hate sound effects spam. If you notice that first jump onto the spring, there's a um, music that starts playing, and I, I don't remember if it's the um, Mario Kart music or whatever, but it distracts you really bad, and you miss the spring. I probably died 15 times jumping right down the pit right at the beginning because I couldn't see where the spring was. There's a boom boom battle. We got some bumpers and a magic Koopa. A lot, a lot of crap here. A couple of wrench throwers or something. Rocky wrenches. Not very hard though. The key to this one turns out the uh, you have this mushroom. You got if you keep the mushroom till near the end, it's not that hard. But it's hard. To, there's a lot of spam, so a lot, a lot of bullets here. You get a bullet riding section, which is pretty easy, although I've screwed it up plenty. <laughs> Probably died a couple of times to it anyway. And then here, here's a, a fun troll for this guy, I, I guess. And I'm like, ah, crap. How am I supposed to know? It's just a guess. It's a pick a path. Lame. I did wonder watching this video if I could maybe have done a perfect triple jump to get out of here, but it would be hard. I try a little, but it doesn't succeed. That's just, just stupid level design. There's a bunch of pick pass sections in here too in this room. I didn't actually pick the. There's a green pipe here that kills me for sure. Oh, I probably wouldn't have now because I have a mushroom. There's a spike pit that it, a, a thing that it drops you into. You can get out of it, but you lose your mushroom. The blind jump coming up here, really, really bad. Luckily, I didn't try it. I don't know how, oh, because I kind of saw where that pipe was, that yellow pipe was, and I wanted to go towards it. But yeah, that's the, that's pretty tight. Here's a, here's the final run. I can't remember how long this level took me. Probably 20 minutes. It wasn't that bad, but it was. It's a bad level. In fact, as far as design goes, this is a much worse level than the uh, "Don't Leave the Ground" one. It's just the "Don't Leave the Ground" clear condition is really bad. Just a really annoying clear condition. If you're not, uh, if you have to remain on the ground, that is. <clears throat> I love that he spin jumps right into my feet. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think this is just the correct path. I don't think there's any alternate routes. Maybe there is, I didn't look that carefully. Yeah, I did get here small a couple of times, and it's hard to- you could probably do it, but it's hard to get up there without taking damage, so... With a damage boost, it's very easy. Here's the green pipe. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't look like you could get to the flag if you came up those green and red pipes. I think that has to be the way to go. I'm not sure- I'm not sure. I don't think you can- Again, with a- with a mushroom, you may be able to damage boost it. Give him a seriously, because that's, that's a crap level, but, you know. 
It was early on, whatever. You don't remember. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I I'd love to read the comments. Um, Shane does it every week. Not No one else anymore. <laughs> but yeah, please, please leave a comment. Uh, have a nice day.